Hi there, students. Panspermia. One word, panspermia. A noun, but an uncountable noun. Okay, this is the theory, the hypothesis, that maybe life didn't develop on Earth. And maybe um, life was brought to Earth, brought to our solar system, or, uh, from the stars. So it's the idea that microorganisms could travel in space and uh, maybe microorganisms from uh, another place, from another star system, have arrived here. And panspermia is the theory that, uh, that this has happened, that um, create some microorganism has survived the radiation in space, has survived the journey through space, and has come here and landed. And then from that, all um, life on Earth has developed. It's possible. It's going to be very, very difficult to disprove. Um, let's see. Panspermia, it, it's talking of uh, one of the several of the things are that different chemicals, organic chemicals, have been brought through space to uh, Earth, and mm, that these um, that also microorganisms or some sort of life has co uh, has come from outer space. It might be blown on the um, on the current on the radiation currents of a space or maybe it's come inside a meteorite that has landed um, and mm, when this these precursors um, land somewhere suitable then that's then they give birth to life. So small organisms that can begin life can be found everywhere in the universe. Uh, that, and that's what the reason for life on Earth. It's difficult, it's impossible to say. It's certainly possible that life developed on Earth, but I think it's also possible um, this theory of uh, panspermia. It's going to be almost impossible to prove. Normally, the, this this theory um, became quite popular in the 19th century, and it were it was uh, f more more favoured than the idea of life being developed here, but it, on Earth, it's a, a, a different theory of of evolu evolution. And it's saying that life will always travel through space and will develop when it finds suitable conditions. So the seeds of life, look, let's look at this word panspermia, pan everywhere in ancient Greek. And spermia is a, uh, is a seed. Um, a seed in ancient Greece, in ancient Greek. So it's saying that the seed of life is carried all all over the the universe, and when when it finds a suitable spot, then it it will de it will develop. So who 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 knows? Um, I saw maybe maybe one day they 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 will be able to pr prove a, a theory like this or not, but I don't know. Um, they they've been talking about tardigrades. A tardigrade is a tiny little animal that is very resistant, but I think panspermia is going to need something much uh, m much better than that. So they, they've done quite a lot of research about panspermia as well to see if microbes will um, can survive in space. And most of their answers so far have been no, that it's uh, not, not something that's not really possible. So a theory about what, how, how we're all here and where we all come from. Well, it doesn't actually answer the question about the origin of life, but...
well that's a different question so anyway if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon bye for now panspermia